Hi everybody, this is Propeller Boy, and I'm bringing you a tutorial video today uh, showing you how to use the Magewell XI100D HDMI to USB dongle, how to record amazing looking video from your uh, console gameplay, uh, how to record that using a Mac. And it's super easy and you're going to get great looking video from this device. It's become my go-to video capture device. Now I wanted to take a quick second to tell you why I'm using screen grabs and screenshots uh, of the process as opposed to a screen recording uh, video software to be able to show you what I'm doing. The reason why is because I use QuickTime Screen Recorder uh, to be able to record my screen as I do these sorts of things. But if I was running that while I was trying to record video from my Magewell unit, uh, Quickier actually uses some of those QuickTime components. And so I use screenshots instead and uh, I hope that they're able to illustrate the process clearly and uh, without any fuss or muss. And if you have any questions, of course, you can drop me them in the comments. But I think that the screen grabs that I've used outline the process pretty clearly. Now, before we get started, there's a couple of things that you're going to need in order to record using the Magewell unit uh, using this setup. And they're both free. The first thing you're going to need to download is a program called Quickie which also comes with a program called Quickier. Uh, these are downloads available from blackop.com. I'll put a, an annotation in the video and a link in the description. And you're also going to need to have access to Apple's ProRes Codex. And if you uh, already have Final Cut Pro or Compressor or something installed on your, uh, on your Apple computer, then you'll already have access to those codecs. But if you don't, uh, it's no problem. I'm going to give, again, a link in the description and an annotation here for a link uh, on how to install the ProRes Codex on your Apple computer for free. Once you've done all that, you've installed the uh, programs and the Codex if you need to, uh, you're going to want to run the program Quickier. Uh, Quickie is a wonderful program too, but there's not very much you can do in terms of uh, the settings. Uh, it will just record an uncompressed video, which will look great, but it takes about, like I think, a gigabyte per second. So we're going to run Quickier, which gives you a little bit more control over the resolution and quality settings of your recording. So here I have opened Quickier right here, and uh, I'm going to need to change a couple of the settings, of course, but that's basically what the first window looks like. Now you'll notice that there aren't any preferences available for this program Quickier. Uh, it's grayed out, that option, and unfortunately what that means is you need to manually input the settings and your recording preferences every time you open the program. But it really only takes about 15-20 seconds, it's not a big deal, and I'm going to walk you through the entire process, which again, is very short and pretty simple. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on this little tiny arrow here, and that will give a drop-down menu for some more settings. Now we have access to the video and audio sources, and we're going to click in this little setting box here to start with the video. So we're going to click on the source panel, and for whatever reason my default setting here is for cam twist, but right below that is the XI100D USB HDMI dongle from Magewell. We're going to click on that. That is our video source, and immediately a preview should show up. Then we're going to click on the compression tab, and once we've done that, we'll navigate from the bottom, which is uncompressed video. I recommend going to ProRes 422LT, great bit rate at a reasonable file size for USB 3.0. Then we are going to change the frames per second from best to 60. And finally, we are going to change the gamma correction from automatic to none. So once we're done with that, we go back to the main window, and now we are going to adjust our audio settings by clicking on this little button here. So now we're going to change the device in the audio recording settings top tab there. We're going to click the drop down menu. Right now it's set to built in microphone. We want to change that to our Magewell unit. So we click on the drop down menu and we pick the XI100D USB HDMI audio. That's from the Magewell unit. Once we've done that, we're going to click on the bottom panel here where it says output settings. We'll click on set output format. Right now it's set to uncompressed audio. And we're just going to change that to the following three settings. That is format AAC, quality best, and target bitrate 320 kilobits per second. Now that we've done that, we're going to pick the destination uh, of our file once we've done the recording. We're going to click on the Save As button here. Um, by default, Quickier saves its movies in a very strange directory. I have just changed it here to the desktop and I've renamed the file Castle Crashers Test. So that'll be very easy to find once it's done recording. Now that we've done that, the only thing we have left to do is fiddle with the preview settings, and this is in an effort to save you CPU power while you're encoding. 
We are going to set the preview quality to low. And we will set the preview frame rate to 5. And again, this is just to make it so it's easier on your computer while it is encoding the video from the device. So now we've taken care of everything. We've set our video and audio settings. We've set the file destination and put the preview window correctly. All we have to do is hit record and it will start capturing the video. Now one very important note, if at any point in the setup process or during your recording once you click record, you notice in the preview window that the video is frozen or it's garbled or it's turned all green or there's lines or whatever, uh, it's no problem. Either stop recording or if you haven't started yet, uh, then you're fine. You go back to the video settings panel and what you're going to do is just reselect, double click on the XI100D USB, our Magewell source, and then click OK, and then do another quick test in the preview window to make sure that everything is all right, but you should be totally fine after that. Then you can start recording again. This only ever seems to happen to me if I'm running other programs or if I'm doing something else, but that's the way to get around that particular problem. Once you're done recording, you just click stop under the preview window and immediately QuickTime Player should open up and show you your file. This wonderful video that you just captured without any loss of any frames or anything like that, it will look absolutely beautiful. So now what I've done is I'm, uh, I'm going to show you the result of the particular capture that I did while setting up this test. Uh, about a minute and a half or so, I think, of Castle Crashers Remastered. Uh, I hope you enjoy, and I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions at all, fire them to me in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks a lot! Hey, boomer buddies, give me a hug. Nasty shit!